In this video, you will learn 11 plus verbal reasoning type 14, find the missing number. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. In this type of questions, the numbers in the third pair must be related to each other just like the numbers in the first two pairs. So in other words, the two outside numbers, you'll have to do something to them to get the middle number. And once you found that out, you're going to see whether that works for the second pair. And if it does, you can apply it to the third pair to find your answer. Now, let's get started with this question. The trick with these questions is to look at the middle number. And if the middle number is larger than the two outside numbers, then the question has something to do with addition or multiplication. If the middle number, however, is smaller than the two outside numbers, then the question has something to do with subtraction or division. In our case, the middle number is larger than the two outside numbers, then it means we'll have to do either addition or multiplication. So we have six and two outside. So let's start by adding six and two. So six plus two will give you an answer of eight. And since eight is nowhere near 12, this means addition does not work. So let's try multiplication. Let's do six times two now. Six times two is going to give you 12. And the number in the middle is also 12. So this means it's multiplication is the rule we have to follow. Now, let's see if this works for 12, 48, and four. Let's see if multiplying 12 and four gets us 48. So let's do this now. 12 times four is going to give you an answer of 48. And is the number in the middle 48? Yes, it is. So we can say that you will have to multiply the two outside numbers to get the middle number. Now let's do the same thing with the third pair. Let's multiply eight and seven. Eight times seven is going to give you an answer of 56. So this means the number that goes in the middle for the third pair is 56. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at this question. Let's have a look at the middle number. The middle number is smaller than the two outside numbers. So this means our question either has to do with subtraction or division. So let's subtract first. Let's do 36 minus 12. 36 minus 12 is going to give you 24. Now, 24 is nowhere near six. So let's try division now. Let's do 36 divided by 12, which is going to give you three. And three is nowhere near six either. So this means sometimes in these questions, you will have to do two steps to find the answer in the middle. So to get from 24 to six, we can divide by four. So let's write that down. 24 divided by four gives you six. And to get from three to six, we can times by two. So three times two gives you six. So one of these steps is the right one to find the number in the middle. So it's either the one that you have to subtract the two numbers and then divide by four, or divide the two numbers and then multiply by two. So let's have a look at the second pair to determine which one of the rules is right. So let's start by subtracting 45 minus nine. So that's the first thing we're going to do. 45 minus nine is going to give you an answer of 36. To get from 36 to 10, We'll have to take away 26. 36 minus 26 gives you 10. So now we can confirm that this rule does not work because if you subtract the two numbers, then you will have to divide by 4. But in this case, after subtracting, we have to take away 26. So this means subtraction does not work. So let's move on to division now. Let's do 45 divided by 9 first. 45 divided by 9 is going to give you an answer of 5. And then to get from 5 to 10, we need to times by 2. So 5 times 2 is going to give you 10. And if you look at the rule, you'll have to divide the both numbers. Then you'll have to times by 2 to get the number in the middle. And it does work. So we can follow this rule for the third pair to find the answer. So let's first 36 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9 is going to give you an answer of 4. Next, we'll have to times this 4 by 2. 4 
times 2 is going to give you an answer of 8. So the number that goes in the middle for this question is 8. So I hope you guys understood everything. Now to learn more on verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.